How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I've already gone through a lot of videos regarding my application and now it's time for the personal statement, which you guys have requested a lot. Now, I'm not necessarily just going to like unblank my entire personal statement because even though I'm not really all that like closed about it, like I don't mind sharing it if you guys like want to DM me on Instagram or email me um, and you really think it's going to help you by actually looking at it, like, you know, go ahead and do that and I, I really don't mind. But uh, I, I will in this video, however, go through, I have it pulled up right here and we're going to go through kind of like how I wrote it um, because a lot of you guys, again, have been asking me how I went through it and I, I'll, I'll share the actual details in there. And so uh, the personal statement, you know, we all know pretty important and I honestly didn't spend a whole lot of time writing mine. I, I probably spent about two weeks on it uh, in May, uh, the year that I applied last year. I kind of just kind of started off. I already knew what I wanted to kind of write about. And you know, if you're going to write a personal statement, chances are, you know what you're going to write about and you know why you want to be a doctor. You're just probably afraid of getting started and just, you know, writing it. And my biggest advice for that is just, you know, start. You're not going to like your first draft. You're not going to like writing about yourself. It's, you know, not really that fun for anyone, but you just got to get started. So the first thing I did was I just kind of made like an outline of what I was going to talk about. So for me personally, I knew that the reason I want to be a doctor was because of my experience with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So in terms of my outline, I, you know, I just wrote out, you know, Make-A-Wish uh, and I had some experiences. So I'm going to talk about my experiences and why it made me want to be a doctor and then what I did about it and you know summarize and you know that looks like nothing but that really is the breakdown of my entire uh personal statement and i i encourage you to do, to do the same thing just start off by just writing you know bullet point notes you know just a bunch of stuff it doesn't really does not need to be organized just get something on paper because that's kind of the best way to start you're not gonna you're not gonna like your first draft so just write the first draft like get it over with so anyways if I look over at my personal statement, my first paragraph was my hook. Now, you know, the personal statement really isn't all that different than any other like essay you've written. It, it should be easier than any other, other essay you've uh, written because it's all about yourself. You don't need to research any of it. You have it all in here. And so you kind of still need to treat it as an essay because you still need to hook the reader. These ad comms, they're going to read your personal statement and they're going to be reading hundreds and thousands of them. You need to stand out. You need to show them why it's worth, you know, not spacing out as they read through the rest of it. And so the first paragraph, I put about three sentences and it's it's my hook. And so here we go. I'm just going to say that this is paragraph one and this is my hook. So this was a, I had a really quick blurb. It was a story about one of my wish kids and um, just something about them. And it, it basically says like, here's something that happened. And from that day on, like I realized I wanted to become a doctor. Now that's kind of like a hook and it had like a little bit of story and they're kind of, it kind of makes them curious. How did he get to that point in his life in that experience? And just like any other essay, you kind of go to the next paragraph. And what I did was I went back to the beginning and I put, when I was 15 years old, my high school hosted a benefit show to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So my hook was about something related to my an experience I had as a volunteer with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And my second paragraph goes back to when I was 15 years old and I had just got start, gotten started volunteering. And so I basically spend paragraph two um, with the backstory, like how, you know, backstory to the hook, I'll say. So backstory to the hook. So now they, they get to see, you know, a bunch of experiences I had. And I talk about my experience with Make-A-Wish. I talk about the awesome Wish kids I, I got to work with. Um, and for me, this was a pretty uh, important time in my life because I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. I didn't, I was in like, I was really, I was still young and I didn't know I wanted to be a doctor necessarily, but having this involvement with Make-A-Wish with, um, you know, these kids that were kind of battling these medical illnesses and whatnot, uh, it did push me in that direction because I felt so good as a volunteer, you know, and I, I wanted to be able to help on a, on a different level as well. Uh, and we'll get back to that. So I basically spent the next, you know, paragraph talking about that. And so paragraph three is slightly an extension of paragraph two, 
where it, it, it finishes talking about those experiences. So you finish talking about paragraph two experiences, and then it circles back to how that experience made me realize I wanted to be a doctor. So, you know, made me realize, um, my last sentence was, if I was able to spread that much happiness as a volunteer, I know I can spread even more as a doctor. Um, so basically this is the, how, how I realized I want to be a doctor paragraph. You know, I talk about, I have my hook, I talk about the hook, I summarize it all and say, because of all this, I want to be a doctor. And that was, you know, how I realized I wanted to become a doctor. So now on to paragraph four, what did I do about it? This is the what did I do about a paragraph for my personal statement. This is the, you know, I know I want to be a doctor now. Now how can I prove that I want to be a doctor, um, that I'm worth becoming a doctor, that I'm hardworking enough? Because here's the thing about the personal statement. You don't want to just go into your personal statement and be like, I'm hardworking. I'm compassionate. You know, I love helping others. I, I, you know, I, I love being smart. I want to be smart, right? You, you don't want to, you don't want to tell them that with your personal statement. You want to show them with your personal statement. You want them to read your personal statement and be like, wow, this guy seems pretty compassionate. He seems, you know, obviously smart. He seems like really hardworking. He shows the qualities of, of a physician. That's what you want to show with your personal statement. You don't want to just tell them these things. And I think that's the hardest thing people have you know, a, a time with, with personal statements is they, they don't know how to tell them. It's because it's you don't want to tell. You just want to you want to show. And you just do that by writing about your experiences, which you've all had. You you know what made you realize how important compassion is. You, you know, you know, your own intellectual capabilities. And you just have to, you know, tell the story that got you to that level. So anyway, kind of a little rant. But the what did I do about paragraph? So I said... Since this revelation, I chose to pursue a degree in kinesiology because of the strong influence on human anatomy and physiology, health throughout the lifetime, injury management, and clinical testing and research. Um, my my advisor told me about medical scribing, uh, and I, you know, took the opportunity to get to work with physicians as a scribe. I closely observe doctors uh, provide their patients with high quality medical care, similar to what my wish kids receive from their doctors. Again, I kept tying it back. To saying like the experience I had that made me want to become a doctor, I went and got clinical experience and educational experience, and I saw those qualities in that experience, which means that I, you know, that solidified that I knew that by becoming a doctor, I was going to get those qualities that I wanted out of my experience that I talked about earlier. Again, I didn't say that this can, you know, this made me realize how important it is to be compassionate. It just kind of you tie it back, you know, just like any essay, you kind of want to tie it back, make sure it's all coherent. Uh, and it all has to do with the same thing. Um, anyway, uh, you know, continuing in paragraph four, I talked about a couple, uh, you know, I talked about a couple patient scenarios with a couple doctors I had worked with and how, you know, that level of, uh, you know, compassion and stuff was there, similar to, you know, going back to Make-A-Wish. Uh, so I'm giving actual scenarios in which, you know, rather than saying, I learned this, I said, I, instead of just saying, that I learned this, I showed that I actually did experience this and, you know, told the stories of that, you know, it was probably like one or two sentence blurbs of the experience. And basically, I, you know, I summarize it here and I say, this is my last, um, this is my last thing. As a medical scribe, I have experienced a wide range of patient cases that have all involved supportive, professional, and confident doctors leading a team of focus a team focused on improving the patient's quality of life. In each case, I noticed a remarkable improvement improved state of happiness and hopefulness as the patients progress through their care. Just like how earlier I talked about how as a volunteer for Make-A-Wish I was able to spread happiness and I knew that as a doctor I could spread you know that level or even more so as a you know as a doctor. And so it's all time back keeping it coherent keeping it part of the story keeping my main focus you know my main story about why I want to be a doctor relevant throughout the entire thing and that that's paragraph four so what did I do about it I, I chose my degree I, uh, I I got clinical experience, worked with doctors, made sure that what I thought I was going to get out of being a doctor was actually there through my clinical experiences. Uh, paragraph five, 
was my last paragraph. Again, you know, it's a 5,000 word count. It, it's pretty much a page and a half is your personal statement. Really not that long, which means there's really no reason to just get started. Just you know, blurb it out, do some rough drafts. Uh, paragraph five, putting it all together. Uh, here, I talk a little bit about um, how everything kind of brought it together and how not only did I realize I want to be a doctor, but I actually did explore other options to make sure that being a doctor was it. Because they're going to say, like, you could bring this level of happiness by being another healthcare provider. Like, why specifically a doctor? And that's what I did here. So I'm going to read off the exact last, uh, last uh, paragraph of my personal statement. I said, I believe that I can provide an exceptional level of care by combining the emotional support skills I learned as a Make-A-Wish volunteer with the skill set and education of a doctor. I explored other healthcare professions by shadowing physical therapists, scribing for nurse practitioners, and physician assistants, but found that the level of care, autonomy, and expertise that physicians have are most in line with my goals. Pursuing a career as a doctor will allow me to restore health, inspire hope, and instill happiness on some of the darkest days in a patient's life. Um, and then... I tie it back to make a wish because again, you want to tie it back. You want to you want to show them the reason why you're here. And uh, for the I don't know you know if any of you guys know a lot about make a wish. They have a uh, mission statement, uh, and I'll I'll go back. So basically, I said my last my last uh, two sentences are my wish kids taught me that anyone can be a superhero. As a doctor, I want to continue to be that superhero by embodying the wish grant mission statement, which is to enrich the human experience with hope, strength, and joy. Which uh, again. That's the mission statement, tying it back into my wish-granting experience, um, the reason I want to become a doctor, and bringing it kind of kind of full circle, which again, really no different uh, difference. I'm just going to say full circle summary. You know, no different than any other essay you've ever really written. Um, and that's really how you should treat this. You have all the information in your head. You have the experiences. You don't need to... You know, you don't need to overthink this. It's hard to get started. It's hard writing by yourself, and uh, I, I, you know, I totally agree with that. But you, you do kind of just got to get started at some point. And again, this is kind of what I did. So, had my hook, my my one really important story, kind of defining moment. Second paragraph, you know, how did I get to that moment? Third paragraph, you know, summarize that and why that made me realize I want to become a doctor. Fourth paragraph, what did I do about it? My education, my clinical experiences, shadowing, anything, you know, some specific examples of how I noticed the qualities that were there in that profession that I wanted that I had mentioned earlier. Um, you know, fifth paragraph, full circle, pull it together, why this turns you into the person you are today and why you know you're ready to go on and why this is the right path for you. Because again, this is not about telling them how smart you are, they know how smart you are, they have your grades, they have your MCAT, they have your transcript. It's about telling them that, you know, showing them that you have these qualities and that you you experience these qualities and you know what you're getting yourself into. That's that's the whole point. They, you don't need to tell them, just show them, tell them your story, show them your story, right? Um, and it, it's a hard thing to write, but you know, definitely get started. Uh, again, if you guys, re if anyone really feels like by actually laying, actually laying eyes on this, that it will really help them. I don't mind. Message me on Instagram, uh, email me. Uh, I also, I have a discord chat. Uh, link is in the description. It's uh, Sean study sesh. There's, it's a pre-med MK, uh, studier med student hangout. I I'm pretty active, but if you maybe want to try to find someone maybe you guys can like swap personal statements go in the chat and see if anyone's willing to like read over your personal statement and edit it for you or maybe you can find someone else who also needs that and swap personal statements with each other and edit each other's uh, I think that'd be an awesome use of the discord um, so go ahead and try there as well but uh, anyways if you have questions you know comment down below and I will help to the best of my ability um, but yeah that's all I got thank you guys for watching I will see you guys next time